So, Victoria, what have we got here today? Well, Justin, today we are going to be driving the second edition to electric cars on our channel with the Jaguar I-Pace. I think what's interesting with the I-Pace is that it's the first electric car that sort of is a real proper competitor, I think, for the uh, Teslas. And it looks so nice. It looks really nice. It looks really mm. nice, right? Um, it's designed by their, their head designer, Ian Callum, mm -hmm. and um, he's actually won awards, awards for it. Yes, on paper, 450 kilometres, but when you actually drive the car, it's around 350. So for a normal, you know, daily drive, it's not going to give you a lot of range. Mm. If you have a normal plug, as in where you would plug your phone in, then it can take up to two days to charge. Right. Um, with the, there's a special one that you can get through the electrical company, your electrical provider, and then it's about like eight hours, 10 hours, something like that. It costs about three euros is what it will charge. So cost-wise, amazing. Mm. Once you've bought the car and paid the 85 plus, yeah, I think this particular thousand version. Thousand euros. She said I think it was one hundred and eight. Yeah, 000. this one was just over a hundred um, thousand euros because of the specification of the car. But apparently, like forty percent of the cost yeah. of manufacturing of this car is the batteries alone, and it has two motors. Yeah, it's got two motors, two hundred horsepower each. Each, and it's mm. four wheel drive, right? Yeah. Do quite like these door handles that pop out. Yeah, so you press the the button to open the doors, and the handles come out. So inside here is really nice, isn't it? It is. It's very it is. classy. It's crazy how they've managed to make it lovely with the screen, but it doesn't feel super techy. It still feels, like you said, classy. When you come in, you've got this massive piece of glass, massive pane of glass on the roof. Um, yeah. So it's not a sunroof, as it, it's not a sunroof as in it doesn't open. But it's intelligent glass, so it goes lighter and darker depending on the oh, really, does light it? outside. Mm. The perforated leather just looks like a gorgeous, expensive jacket. I'm glad they haven't gone down the, the Tesla route and put a massive iPad yes. in the middle of the unnecessary, dashboard. Unnecessary, unnecessary. Yeah, They've got these beautiful dials here. But look at this. So there's only one dial, right, which controls the temperature. If we pull it out... All right towards me it oh. controls the oh, speed right. oh, of the cool. fan if you push it in once it controls the temperature wait for this push it in again the seats because they're perforated leather it's got um heat oh, ventilation it? oh wow okay yeah seat ventilation for you know for your oh, undercarriage wow. can i just say it's like a limousine behind you there it's that's because i've sat so far <laughs> forward <laughs> but you're in your actual this is my normal driving position. I found something that I'm not too keen on, and that is the seat belt. It's only a silly thing, but the seat belt, you can't regulate it, the height of it. I know, my BMW doesn't have that either. Uh, yeah, and I'm super short, and that it's just really means annoying. that I get chafing on my shoulder. So what do you think? What's your initial? Well, it's what I was expecting. It's a bit like that little golf cart we drove. <laughs> <laughs> but a slightly more luxurious version. very expensive. I, I missed the engine sound. Yeah, you sort of, you need something, don't you? Something, It still no? takes a bit of getting used to when there's no noise. I feel like without some engine noise, we have to keep talking. All know? the time. Because otherwise it's complete silence. Can you? <laughs> Should we go to La Cañada? Let's go. Do some shopping while we're there. Don't, I'm hungry. I could eat some salmon meat. I had salmon last night. Actually. I did too. It certainly takes off. <laughs> <laughs> you just get a rush of wind. And that's just from me. <laughs> <laughs> so when I take my foot off the accelerator, it's charging. That's Currently, I'm accelerating, so you see the power goes blue. And then take my foot off, and it charges. And you feel it charging. You really do, don't you? You do, don't you? You've got to be very smooth with the accelerator. Yeah. That's why I'm used to having like a heavy foot. Mm. And here I feel like I need to drive, like I said, like a lady. Like I'm a lady. lady. I've got my little pinkies up. I'm a lady. Yeah, I, I like know. to do lady things. I like to do lady things. <laughs> Next to the door handle on the rear doors, uh -huh. there's a little light. Outside or inside? On the inside. Mm -hmm. What it does is if you're about to open the door and it senses that there's a car there, the light comes on so you don't open the door, it checks if anything's coming. Amazing, isn't it? Just so you don't get your door ripped off. Yes, or your legs. Or your legs. <laughs> what 
what Jaguar offering to try to incentivize people to buy this car is that if you want to go, say for example from here to Barcelona, which is what, 850, 900 kilometers? Some of that. Obviously you would not be able to do it in one go in this car. So what they're offering you is an F pace for the time that you're away, which I thought, Take it instead of which I thought was amazing. That's one option. Another option that they're offering you is to transport your car free of charge from wherever you are, so from here, from Malaga, deliver it to Barcelona, wow. so you can drive it while you're there in Barcelona, so you fly up yeah. or train it up or whatever, and then they bring it back down for you too. Wow. I know, right? <laughs> I suppose they've got to do something to start they to get the ball to. rolling, haven't they? To get people buying these cars, yeah. getting over the range anxiety issue, and you know, going, actually, you can live with an electric car. And what's interesting, actually, because in the US, it's not selling very well this which is expected because Tesla sort of everyone who is going to buy an electric car just thinks Tesla. Tesla yeah. uh, they're very, they have a big infrastructure for charging, superchargers all over the place uh, but there are certain markets where this is working very well and which is Scandinavian where? countries, right? Holland. Is that because it's four-wheel drive do you think? Uh, yeah possibly actually. Um, I don't know. I think they also like the brand. I think they just love the, the Jaguar brand. Good old Jag. Um, but what was really interesting is they sold it at something like one and a half thousand in December just because of some tax law changes but they outsold Tesla. Wow. And what's really interesting is they sold you know one and a half thousand of these but they only sold the next Jag that was the best seller in the Netherlands in December was the XF and I think they only sold six. There's a big difference between... Still a high number. <laughs> <laughs> the XF, I must say. So really, I, yeah. I thought you went for the cat theme because of Jaguar. And it was not the same cat, but I thought that's why you were wearing I was wearing. I was clothes. wearing kind of leopard print because um, we're saving, saving the world, saving the planet today by driving an electric car. So I was just feeling one okay. in, at, at one with, you know, with the world and the planet. That's that was my, when I was getting dressed this morning. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Um, but then, listen. There's two sides to every story, right? And I don't know enough about it to take a side right now. So you've got the people saying, right, short term, this is what's saving the planet or contaminating it less. Yeah, because there's no fumes coming out. So at the moment. We're, we're not damaging the planet at all. But once this car is ready to be disposed of, apparently that's when the problem is gonna happen, right? Yes. Because we're gonna have the loads of these really contaminating batteries lying around that we can't destroy or get rid of. And I do know that like Elon Musk was saying recently on Twitter that they're changing what's going into, I think cobalt and stuff is problematic and stuff like this and they're changing some of the elements and chemicals that are going into their batteries. Still super harmful though, these yeah, big, so big old batteries. Exactly, and I, I don't, that's why I, I've never been a big fan of electric cars because I don't think it's actually solving the problem. No. It's solving the problem in city centres where it's polluted. Yeah, immediate could, effect. The, the immediate, immediate yeah. effect, that local effect. Yeah. But that we're still having to generate electricity, whether that's nuclear, coal, whatever. And because um, you know, wind farm stuff is still mm -hmm. still very small scale, so it hasn't it hasn't solved the problem. It's just shifted the problem. I think. Yeah, that's all it's done. So there's no one in the port. <laughs> so we're not getting any looks it's at all. It's very quiet. It Where's is. all the prostitutes, man? At least they should well, take a look. Well, it's Sunday, you know. They're uh, they're obviously recovering of rest. From, from a hard night on the town. Well, even God rested on a Sunday. So. Did he? Mm -hmm. Is that a thing? Yeah. yeah. I know I mentioned to you earlier about the Renault Zoe, which you can buy for like 14,000 euros, which is a Stop bargain. talking to me about You that could car. have like nine of those for the price of this. <laughs> With that car, four, four, you lease the batteries. That's why it's so cheap. So you never own the batteries. You own the car. The batteries are leased. So you only... Well, so you pay monthly. You pay them. monthly. Okay. And so then as they deteriorate, I think you can then uh, replace them. new ones. For a new batch. Sorry, this does have brilliant overtaking power though. God, you could overtake anything. But you would scare someone shitless because they wouldn't hear you. <laughs> You'd just be like That's overtaking true. them like, hello. <laughs> if this runs out of power, yeah, true. Nobody what would can, you do? Yeah. No, you can't even come and jump start it for you. No. no one can come and refill the tank. Yeah, no, you, tow that's it. it. Once it, it's done, it's done. Once it's done, it's done, you mate. You need towed away. I'm just saying, there's a lot of that nice does sound slightly into. better than this, doesn't it? <laughs> this brake pedal is awfully spongy, isn't it? <laughs> it 
you know, this is 2.1 tonnes, you can feel the weight. And yes. It's just a bit, it just takes getting used to, doesn't yeah. it? The fact that there's no noise. And it's just because you're waiting for the gear change as well. I see you. That takes a bit of getting used to coming <laughs> off the accelerator. That's why our heads are like that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't expect you have, that. You have to be really gentle with it. Like, yeah. Are no. you checking that woman out? No. Are you checking? What are you doing? Are you kidding me? Oh my I, god. I pre plan my roundabouts so I can see what's coming. You're so checking that bird out. Yeah, right. You don't really need the brakes. You don't at all. <laughs> That's why I was saying before when you're like, oh, the brake. The brakes are a bit spongy, I'm like, the what? <laughs> I, I haven't touched it, it. Yeah, the irony of it is, is that it's supposed to be a very smooth car being electric, but you ha it takes a bit of, it's going to take a bit of time to, until you can make it quite smooth. Yeah. You of, know, because of the At the moment, I'm in the my, I need a massage. No, I need a neck massage. So, we've had to change camera because um, Justin's had a busy week and forgot to charge them. I didn't so. forget to charge them, I just didn't get enough time to charge them completely. The other thing I think we, sh we didn't really mention was that there, there's got to be a point at some point where you could go to a petrol station, they pull out your batteries and insert some charged up ones. I get you. You know what I mean? It should be like a replace, yeah. you know. Just but they're built in. They're built in now, aren't they? They're built in, that's a problem. Yeah. So, But if, if you get to a point where you could remove them, and it's like you literally just plug in a new one, you know, take out one, put a fully charged one in, and then you don't have this delay. Elon, if you're watching this, mate, you heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, there's your, your tip for the day. We want some dosh off you, all right, if you apply this. So um, I loved it. It's not a car that would work for me. I wouldn't buy it, um, but there's nothing wrong with it. Lovely. Great job, Jag. Anyway, I'm going to find a petrol car for next week. So <laughs> see you guys then. Ciao, ciao. Bye.